Hello everyone, thank you for watching Mad Trucks with Marcos. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Today we have a really cool Jeep. It's got a lift on it. It's got a really cool custom wrap on it. Um, we've been doing a lot of cool things on the channel, so we're gonna get back into a, a walk around on a Jeep Wrangler. And uh, you can also please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, it helps us uh, do more and more cool videos. So thank you for watching. We're gonna check out this Jeep. Alrighty guys, so this is a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Uh, it is a sport model and we have it on consignment at our store in Elkhorn because we can't always get together and take stuff in on trade but we do uh, like to get a chance at selling it sometimes and uh, we do have a good shot because we do so many of the custom Jeeps. So please give me a holler if uh, this one seems to be something that you're looking at. So um, first of all, I'm just going to talk about the wrap um, because it is what you notice right off the bat. So I think they call this like an urban camo. And um, it's nice because this Jeep, it was white underneath it. Uh, underneath the wrap, it's just, it's a, it's a white Jeep. So either you're gonna buy it because man, you really like the wrap and it's just something really cool, really unique. Uh, it sets it apart from uh, some of the other Jeep Wranglers out there. Um, some people like it because of the wrap and then the other side of it is underneath the wrap, it's perfect white paint. Uh, that's never really ever been exposed to the elements. So if we rip that wrap off, which we could do, um, you know, it's perfect uh, white paint underneath. It's got a black grill uh, and it looks really, really sharp. Um, so I guess on this one, I'll start at the top. They do have the 50 inch light bar going all the way across, uh, which is nice to have. A lot of uh, Wrangler people do like to have that. One of the first accessories that gets added on. Um, this model would not have came with this hood. So the hood is also something that was added to this to have the heat extraction vents in there. Um, this is, I believe, I, you guys I'm sure will correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's a Spartan grill. Uh, it's one of the aftermarket grills that they make and um, it's a really nice fit for this Jeep, kind of just gives it a little bit more of that aggressive look. Um, and uh, yeah, it's nice to have that big opening in there to get all the air uh, possible in, cool it off, which is a big deal on the Wranglers. So it does have a winch, it's an 8,500 pound winch, which is uh, definitely uh, right around where you'd wanna be on a Wrangler. Typically you want twice as much pulling power as what the vehicle weighs. Um, it's kind of just a rule of thumb. So at you know 4,000 pound vehicle, 8,500 pound winch should be fine. And it is mounted in this stubby bumper. So they got rid of the factory bumper and they replaced it with a stubby setup, which would allow them to put the winch in there. Um, and then we also have uh, the D-rings uh, right on the front where you could hook someone up and manually pull them out or get yourself pulled out uh, if need be. So we'll go around to the side of this one. Um, since we talked about the bumper, I'll talk about the rest of the body. So it does have uh, aftermarket high rise fender flares on it. So this is the factory piece in here. This is a factory fender. They mounted on uh, the, this aftermarket fender flare. Not sure exactly what brand it is, um, but I know uh, like it's a little wider than some of the other ones. I would say it's probably like 10 inches of coverage on the front, um, which is nice. Some people like the really stubby look. Some people like to have a little bit more protection, but coming out this much is nice when it throws debris up. Um, the, f the flare is gonna catch a lot of it and hopefully keep the rest of the body nice and safe. For suspension on this one, it does have a BDS three inch suspension lift and they did go in and they upgraded to the Fox shocks, uh, which is really nice through BDS. They're partnered up with Fox so they can just go in and it's a really popular upgrade for someone getting the BDS lift kit because for a couple hundred bucks to add Fox shocks, um, that is a great, great deal. Um, so yeah, really happy that it's got that on there. Uh, let's talk about wheels and tires. So for tires, it's a 35 by 12 and a half on a 20 inch wheel. And it is the Nitto uh, Trail Grappler MT. Uh, so it is their mud tire. Um, once this tire gets any kind of speed, it's gonna, it's gonna start cleaning itself and it's gonna throw all the debris that gets stuck in there. It's gonna throw it out. And um, yeah, it's really one of the higher end mud tires on the market. And the reason a lot of people go with it is because it's been around for a while. They know that, I mean, we've had people get anywhere between 40 to 65,000 miles out of a set of these. And uh, for a mud tire, that is quite good. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned it was on a 20 inch wheel. This is a fuel, I believe it's a fuel blown is the model of the wheel. Um, but this one does have some custom paint work. I don't believe you can buy it black and white like that. You can get it all black or black and chrome. So that probably came all black. 
and then um, it had the custom paint work done, which obviously works really well with this Jeep. Uh, moving along to the side here, it does have these really nice uh, rock rails. Um, I like them. They're, um, again, I can't see them any marking on them, but really similar to the Poison Spider ones that we've done where it goes up underneath. And then uh, you get the mesh down here, uh, which is nice. And then you have the bigger two inch tube up top and the textured powder coat material. So really nice uh, flare on this is gonna serve as protection. Um, and also it is gonna make it so someone can step up on there if uh, they wanna you know, just get into the Jeep a little easier. We will move around to the back. So it does have the aftermarket bumper back here. The nice thing about this particular aftermarket bumper is um, one, it's got the trailer hitch built right into the bumper, which is nice. Even if you don't use it all the time, it is nice to have a hitch on your Wrangler. And then um, it has the integrated tire carrier. So all the weight of this huge uh, 20 inch wheel and 35 inch tire is no longer on the tailgate of the Jeep. It's actually uh, directly onto the frame now, thanks to the tire carrier. All the weight is being transferred through here, down here, right onto the frame rail. Uh, as opposed to these um, poor hinges having to take all that weight. So, uh, and then the other thing that they did back here, um, the LED tail lights, which do look really nice. They're like the smoked black and uh, they work really well. And um, I'll just pop the door open on the interior real quick. It is mostly a stock interior. Um, you know, it's got uh, the little angle thing right up front so you can see if you're about to tip over on the Jeep, which is nice, gives you your, your incline, you know, whatever incline you're at, it'll tell you exactly the angle. Yeah, pretty standard stuff in here. It is in great condition. It still even has uh, the tag on it from when it was new. And I mentioned this is a used Jeep. It's barely used. It has like 2,500 miles on it. So, you know, you get um, pretty close to a brand new Jeep at not a Jeep price. I believe we have this one on sale right around 42 or 43,000, uh, which for this much Jeep, I mean, that's a lot. So if you have any questions about it, please give me a call. Uh, phone number is below. And uh, as for Marcos, any questions on this Jeep or some of the other lifted stuff we have, give me a holler and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day.